Recently, I've been looking a bit at wind as part of this uh, economy, this new economy. I think wind is going to be the centerpiece of the new energy economy. Solar will play an important role, particularly at the household level. Geothermal energy is going to play an important role, particularly in some parts of the world. But, but the big one, the centerpiece, the dominant source of energy is going to be wind. The 19th century belonged to coal, the 20th century was oil, and the 21st century is going to be wind. And I'll just mention some of the reasons for that. One, the share of wind as a source of energy is now rising pretty fast in many parts of the world. There are three states in northern Germany that now get between 40 and 60 percent of their electricity from wind farms. Denmark, it's 25 percent. In this country, the leading state is Iowa, which now gets 20 percent of its electricity from, from wind energy. So it's beginning to come up. So the, um, we, we know that as the West German uh, states that are getting 40 to 60 percent of electricity from wind have demonstrated is that wind can be a big part of the uh, energy system. Um, the other thing is that wind, in terms of energy productivity per acre, is very high. If you own an acre of cornland in northern Iowa, you can plant that acre in corn, harvest it and convert it into ethanol, and get maybe $1,000 worth of ethanol from the acre. You can also build a wind farm, a wind turbine on that acre, and that will yield $300,000 worth of electricity over a year. So w wind is, is a very land efficient way of producing electricity. Wind farms cover large areas, but the, the land actually occupied by the turbines is only 1% of the, of the area. So you can have several square miles, um, but, but you can still use that land for other purposes. One of the things that farmers and ranchers like, and they don't have a NIMBY problem, they have a PIMBY problem, put it in my backyard. A competition among communities in states in the Great Plains for these wind farms is intense. Um, because whoever gets the, the, the wind farms will be getting the royalties from the wind turbines. They'll be getting tax from the, the, uh, the production and sale of electricity um, to upgrade schools and roads and so forth. Um, but the exciting thing for farmers and ranchers is they can double crop. They can grow corn and generate electricity from wind because the turbine is only 1% of the land. You can, you can run cattle on the land. And a lot of ranchers now are probably earning more from wind royalties than they are from, from cattle sales. So it's, it's a PIMBY problem, put it in my backyard, that's really dominating um, in, in much of the country. We hear about the, the, the NIMBY problem, not in my backyard. The other fascinating thing about wind is how it scales up. It doesn't scale down. You're not going, not going to put a wind turbine on your, on your roof um, in all likelihood. You, Solar scales down very nicely. Wind scales up. We started building wind farms, 50, 100 megawatts, then a few hundred megawatts, several hundred megawatts, then uh, one under being planned in western Wyoming, 2,000 megawatts, one in southern South Dakota, BP, and, and what was Clipper Wind, 5,000 megawatts. The Mariah, thank you, the Mariah wind farm um, in the Texas Panhandle awaiting completion of the transmission line uh, to the, 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 the load centers in, in central and, and southern Texas will be 10,000 megawatts. That's equal to 10 nuclear power plants or 10 large coal-fired power plants. The largest coal complexes are three to 5,000 megawatts each. There aren't that many of them, but those are the, the, the big ones. With nuclear, the, there are a few in the five to 7,000 megawatt range, but now we're already building 10,000 megawatt wind farms. China is, has started development of seven wind generating complexes, each with at least 10,000 megawatts of generating capacity. 
the largest, which is in Gansu province in the northwest, will be a 38,000 38, megawatt generating facility. 38,000 megawatts. We've never seen thinking on this scale before in the energy sector. The amount of electricity produced by that wind farm when it's completed is enough to satisfy the needs of a country like Poland or Egypt. I mean, they're huge. So we're beginning to get some insight in, into the potential uh, with wind. An article in Science pointed out that China has enough harnessable wind energy to increase its current electricity consumption 16-fold. The U.S., three states, North Dakota, Kansas, and Texas, have enough wind energy that, if harnessed, would more than provide enough electricity for the entire country. So it's abundant. So my sense is that wind is, is going to be the centerpiece of the new energy economy. If we look at world generation today, geothermal is maybe 11,000 megawatts. Um, uh, just getting started, solar is now uh, 39,000 megawatts. Wind is about 240,000 megawatts. So wind has really left the others behind um, and is moving very fast.